guys welcome to my channel for those who are new here i'm liliana and this channel is all about me sharing my tips and tricks about the cake decorating world so in today's video i'm going to show you how to make this a beautiful buttercream rosette cake with an ombre effect but before we get into that i really want to share an exciting moment for me i created a shop sugar Ella sweets party and it's on etsy i will link everything down below and in my shop I wanted also to ease everybody out and create, you know, a one-stop shop where you can have different themes and in those themes you can have cupcake toppers, cake toppers and banners. Um, I will in the future add more things, it's a little secret, but for now that's what I'm doing. Oh yeah, and thank you cards for baby showers or baby reveal, gender, or baby gender reveal. So yeah, so I'm very excited about that. I opened the shop not too long ago, so everything was uh, pretty much finalized and put up yesterday. Um, I'm missing a couple of things yet because we're working on it, but have a look at that and I really hope you guys enjoy and maybe you guys will find ideas or for your own party. And like I said, it goes by theme all the way from baby shower, birthday parties, cake toppers, a graduation. So have a look at that. And I really hope you guys enjoy enough talking and let's get to the actual video. So let's get to it.
this is how I created this beautiful cake. Very simple to make. I used a 1M tip. As you can see, it's like a star. You can also use a 2D, but I prefer using the 1M. The rosettes, like, I don't know, I, I, I prefer the 1M, but you can go ahead with the 2D also. It's very beautiful. The only problem with the 2D I find is that if your buttercream is a little tiny bit grainy, it won't go through your, your, your little creases and it's just gonna be it's, you're gonna pipe like halfway and then you have to like remove the rosette and then clean up the piping tip so this is why the entrance or the hole in the middle is like larger so it's easier even if it's a little bit grainy for the rosette to be done as you saw in my video i redid the first bottom layer and the reason why not because i didn't like the rosettes it was because i found them too apart and I like things like a little bit closer to each other. So it just looks like nicer. But if you do make it apart, you can also go ahead and pipe it with the same uh, uh, piping tip and just do little stars. But I just wanted that clean rosette look. So for the ombre effect, very simple to make. I use one bowl, one piping bag, and basically you just use your darkest color first and then you pipe it around and then you lighten it up with a little bit of white buttercream and then pipe and da -da 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 -da, all over until you're at the top and that's basically it it's perfect for a baby shower a birthday cake and you can even like don't do the ombre effect just leave it one color very very nice or do different colors actually that would be nice too uh, what I highly suggest is that you crumb coat your cake and then you freeze it for about 5 to 10 minutes before you put the rosettes on it because then the cake and the buttercream that is room temperature will stick to the cake right away. And actually, if you make a mistake, it's actually easier to remove the rosette because it's going to become a little bit like hard because it's going to stick to the cake that's like chilled. So it's like easier to just remove it. So. I mean, at the beginning, it does take a little bit of practice. Uh, maybe you could take a parchment paper and just practice rosettes or uh, cupcakes. That's the way that I did it at the beginning, but then you kind of get the hang of it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't done it yet, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that I put up. Also, don't forget to go and have a look at my Etsy shop and go and watch little videos on Sugar Less Sweets party for balloon or party decor for any ideas. So, I wish you all a beautiful end of weekend and a beautiful week. See you in the next one. The hair, the hair. What is this? Like, seriously, what is this?